Somos tíos Ya me tengo de paz Me voy a salir de acá Ya me muero más It's about that time. It's about that time right now, y'all. Yo, what's going on, dude? What's going on, brother? Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, you know, Father. You know, big up yourself. Big up, Father. One hundred percent straight. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Yeah, people, we got the man. Dance all reggae artists of the kings of Jamaica. I light up in the building. Y'all better check him out on YouTube and check him out on Instagram as well to tell your people. All right, so I like for the listeners out there who don't know who you are, tell us a little about I light. Well, I like is a humble youth, you know. I like is a youth that love music and love for entertain, you know. Me and me is a man where caring. And look out for the ones that will look out for me, you know. And me is a man who produce a lot of hit songs. You know, so you can look out for whole heap of hits from my life. You understand? Whole heap of entertainment. Whole heap of controversy. Whole heap of excitement. Everything from my life, man. You see, pray? Uh, all right. So let, let's, 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 let's go back to I Light when you was a kid. Tell us about your life when you were a kid, your background. Uh, what school do you attend to, if you wish to say? Um, tell us about your family background and who were you as a child? Well, I like as a child. Well, you know, so I start, start off at a school, uh, Belfield, all age, though. In a Saint, a Saint Mary, I really grew up in the countryside. Right. Though. Yeah, man, so big up Saint Mary, you know, globally. <laughs> no joke. Until, yep. you know, mm -hmm. I left from, you know, I left from Belfield, all age, and go to. Rich man technical, I understand. Mm -hmm. Never get to really finish school still because of circumstances, I understand. But we go in the street, yeah, we used up on the road and we street smart and we develop a lot of knowledge in the street, you know, by mm -hmm. going around friends and exploring from rivers to crab bush, everything. We right. did playing, playing football. Every adventure stuff that I like, man. Growing up as a child, playing marble, everything you can think of, shooting bird. Yeah, man. All of the excitement, them. You know, interesting you said play marble. I mean, I haven't seen kids really today actually play marble. You know, I'm, I'm really wondering right now, is that thing really exist? Because my time growing up and stuff like that, you know, marble was like a really, really big thing. You know, as kids, you play marble in the backyard and stuff like that. But I haven't seen kids really actually have those, you know, those little good time, you know, pitching marble and stuff like that. Yeah, wow, that's bring back a lot of memories and you actually said that. So, all right, so what you say um, within your family structure, um, uh, tell us about the siblings. Are you the first, second, third, fourth? Well, my mother have saved now, you know. I don't know. My brother, my bigger, bigger brother, Japo, the first one. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, and then you have my sister, and then you have the brother, and then me, and then one, one, one of my other brother, then one sister, and then the last brother. Now, we must also have the music too, if you look out for him. I understand. Uh, awesome, yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, will you say back in those days growing up and stuff like that, um, will you say, I mean, the struggle is real? I mean, are you born with the golden spoon? No. Oh, we have someone, we, we have to go way up. When we do a country, you know, man. My granny, my grow with still in my father. <laughs> right, my right, granny, right. my grow with, you know. Yeah. Uh, from a tender age, my mother, like my mother, left me down with my granny. And my granny just loved me. And she just take me over. She said she not send me back up to my mother. You understand? So she yeah. take me. I mean, I tell her, say, <laughs> them mm -hmm. times they're rough in my father. We have to go way up in some hills, go look wood for catch fire for cook. Some, you know, a lot good. 
Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, definitely, I do, I do. And them, they were used to have to go way up in some woods with some cocos bag and we cut last. But mm. chop up and put in a bag. Mm. We catch fire up so we can cook and eat, my father. Them time they rough, me I tell you. But we never go away with hungry. That me love with my granny, you understand? She so ever have some even, even, though the struggle, even though the struggle was real, they were definitely love in the air. She show you guys love. Yeah, man, the struggles real, my father, man. Real, real struggles, man. Me, I tell her. Oh, what I'm saying, even though, even though the struggle was real, she tried, your grandma tried everything within her everything. power to get you guys comfortable. Yes, my father. Me love her for that. She passed off still, but I don't know. Still, I show her love. The spirit there, I see him every day, you know? Right, right. So, my question to you, despite all the challenges that you experienced, you, you wasn't really living with your mom. Your grandma took you under her wings. Um, she do every, anything and everything to make you guys comfortable. Why yeah, I like did not decide to turn to the guns? Why did you? Why? Why haven't you decided to turn the wrong way? Why is Why you decide to stay focused? Well, as as I said to you, know, father, we grew up as a humble youth and money you know. If you go to my community right now, everybody can tell about me. Everybody loves me, you know. Me had one day. We just always uh, stay humble and you understand full of manners. Everybody loves me because we just have this art. I mean, I really like violence, my father. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, but back up, Island, is it really easy to stay humble? I mean, you're growing up in a, a community whereby in an environment you don't, have, you don't really have much. You may see your peers out there. I mean, they're dressing the latest. They they ride the latest car, they ride the latest bike, they wear the latest Gucci, etc. and whatnot. I mean, don't you feel in your heart, you know what, man? I want the same. I want to be just like my friend. I want to be like everybody else out there. How difficult it is to remain humble and not to be and not to fall by the wayside. I remember telling the truth, my father. You see me? I grew up as a house line, you know? I used to go to bush to look cool and sell and them thing they saw. Yeah. You see like All right. you see, like I remember a country with them, my father. Right, right, so right, right. A whole heap of bush and a whole heap of ex cruel in a them bush there. So I just take advantage of it. And I always buy me things and I ever clean and need people. I wonder how I'm poor and I need so And I ever clean. You understand? Because I don't, I don't sit down and wait for people to give me things, my father. You understand? I go mm. feed. But at the end of the day, the struggle is still real. Because I'm going to go to bush and... No quote not not did the same way. You see what I say? But I still mm. can go in at the town and grab two cheap things and stay clean same way. You understand me? I say grab some food. Right. Yeah, my father. Right, right. right. Yeah, that, that is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my father, man. Very important. No so, <clears throat> tell us, what was the relationship like with you and your siblings? Seven of you. And I mean, I have seven of you. I mean, m money is not on the table the way that I mean you expect it to be and stuff like that. The struggle was real. Your grandma tried anything and everything to keep you guys comfortable. What was the relationship like with the seven of you? Siblings. Well, I remember telling you, see my bigger sister, she the one after my brother would die. Hmm. She she used to always look forward to me too. In a way, she have a special love for me. Because hmm. remember me telling you know me are the humble one, you know. Out of all of we, and me are the humble one where always have manners and stuff. So my sister, she will do anything for me, my father. Mm. But me now go, me not really push her and ask her for things every minute. And me want me do it out, cause me no want me have a conscience. You know them way, them my father. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, but my other brother, them, you know, growing up, I just me and like. Because my other brother, they live with me, you know. The one where me follow. Mm -hmm. They live with me, I'm a granny. So a tree away live, I'm a grandfather. Yeah, four away. You understand? So, mm -hmm. me and him now, he never, <laughs> he never yeah. beat me and him like a thing there. You know what I mean? Like, when I call him down the road, when I call him down the road, I'm a call me. The man come for me with big whip, come beat me. And I say, you know, you know what I call you? He 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 show you the big the, the big brother the, the big brother thing man you're a little you're a little bro man you getting called man get I whoop your ass boy listen what what you be calling <laughs> yeah man but me love him see me you know yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. right 
Give me Florida. So, I, I, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, all right. So, I mean, apart from that, before we get into this whole music thing, um, in terms of sports and stuff like that, I mean, were you like actively involved in sports as a youngster growing up? Well, I want to tell you the truth, say. Eh? I was a dancer before I turned an artist. Hey, all right. We're we, we going to get to that, yes. my man. We're going to get to that. Oh, that's um, not quite interesting. So you were yeah, never man. involved in sports or anything of such? Football, man. Football was my thing. Every evening, I used to anticipate playing football with my friend. Name. And I asked if me a top striker, you know, my father. All right. I hear a lot of people in within the ghetto, in, within the inner city community, in, in the ghetto, always say a way out out of poverty or maybe some time to take away the day-to-day -day stress is to go and burst a sweat by kicking ball and stuff like that. How effective you think football is or sports um, within the inner city community? Well, it's a good, it's a good thing. Uh, I tell you the truth, when any time we did a farm, a little side, and them thing that we play like commute, some community league thing, we win some challenge and more we even put on like when people are keep party and them thing that then put on like a like a tournament where like right, right. like people from that community they farm them side and come down and we play and, and we win a sum of money. So football is a very it, it have a very positive impact on the community. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah man. Even though you know Sometimes with that ball going on, why broke out and man I get lick and man I get <laughs> yeah man, I, feel I, I don't I don't know about that boy I don't know about that mm -hmm. yeah but <laughs> it's a, it's a, it, 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 it's very impactful man you know the ghetto and thing help a lot of youth I mean no youth right now we reach a long way out of ghetto football cause like we go out and we play some little match and other big other big people see them and like them and just sponsor them and. Uplift them on Yeah, my father. So oh, it's awesome. a good thing. Yeah, man. Awesome. awesome. So before I like get into music and stuff like that, there must have been some artists out there you model after. Some artists that you want to be that person at, at some point in time in your life. Who was that artist? Who was your inspiration? I remember telling the truth, the living truth. I see my big brother. Mm. Cartel was in favorite artist. Vibes Cartel. Yeah. Yeah, man. And them on the all weird. Like if him follow if him follow him, go shop and them thing there. Him always I sing some cartel song and I say, hey boy, I have to catch this today, you know. It's a be a lick more I'll man I'll beat me for catch all the song them, you know. So wow. me go up me, me go up listening to cartel as a as my brother idol and my brother was my idol, so I always follow everything when I do. So, Cartel was the one that I was listening to and want to be like, you understand? Vibes Cartel. You know, In terms uh, of lyrica, lyrics and music. Yeah, you know, Cartel is a very talented and a very lyrical artist as well. I always label Vibes Cartel as the Tupac Shakur of the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm a One, 100% straight, and I'm going to take that back. I mean, he's just, Vibes Cartel is just thinking with talent. All right, yeah. good. So, I mean, yeah. you got an artist like a DJ Palmer. I mean, big, big, monstrous artist. You know what I'm saying? I mean, probably one of the best in um within the last 20 or 25 years or so in Jamaica and probably in the world of dancehall and stuff like yeah. that. Um, Definitely. I mean, we talk about the lyrical content. Yes, I mean, there's definitely a shift from over the years compared to now, the lyrical content. I'm not too sure if you can align of what exactly I'm trying to ask you and stuff like that. But do you think back then, foundational artists compared to modern artists, quote unquote, like you? like yourself right now um where, where do you where do you see yourself as as a young artist compared to those foundational artists do you think your the, the music today has longevity 
compare to those foundational artists back then? No, man. Can because they must say the chopping thing I call up the youth I mean, I mean, music and I call uh, up the music. All right. I, 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 go on, man. Go on. You understand? So, these uh -huh. days now, you can't really compare when it, when it, when it, in terms of long lasting music. You uh must -huh. say I got to talk about Reggae and Bob Marley and them, man, you know, and Butch uh -huh. and Tan. You understand? Uh -huh. I don't yeah. see none of them, man, they're right now, you know. You understand? You, uh -huh. But you, you don't have to talk about like a Jamil, a Hyaktian. Who again? I can't even count them by my finger, where really. Say, yeah, they might make a stamp for left a positive impact in a music uh -huh. mode. Uh -huh. You understand? Like, but right. then. But, yeah, man. So, but then, definitely, can't compare but then to now. All right, so one of the things I'm getting from you, I live, which is quite interested. Big up everybody who locked in on TikTok and everybody locked in on Facebook. New York City, good evening, good evening. Good evening to all those of you guys who locked in right now. Appreciate the love, y'all. All right, so what I'm getting from you right now, as a young artist today, you're not really going for the buzz, right? Much as you, in this new generation music thing, you appreciate foundational music. Yes, no, my father, yes, after we know. I uh, them set it for we, you know, so we could build upon it and advance, you know, and build with own style and come in with the own floor. You understand the message, my father? Right, 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 right. Let's turn to the reggae music. What is reggae music to you, I like? What reggae music reggae. really means to you? Reggae, I let me tell you. It's a reggae music. Come like on, rap out this up. <laughs> it can't, it can't move. Right, right. <coughs> you understand? Reggae right. music is a stamp. It's a stamp in a music. So it's reggae music is the biggest genre of music to me and the most important. Because, yeah, man. Right. Uh, reggae what? music, when the man they are singing, you know, my father, you have to listen and learn. You, know, you learn a lot of them, man. You know. When mm -hmm. the man they are singing on my father. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So reggae music is very, very impactful and important. You understand? So, you know, a lot of people hear about dance hall music. When people hear about dance hall, you know, they want a dance hall. Is it like you go into a place, people just dancing and stuff? What is dance hall music? Dance hall music is all about fun. I understand? Fun. When you hear dance all you hear about fun, vibes, party. You understand? Because right now, if you go on party, like, say for instance, five to, to ten years ago, if I'm vibes caught in the play a dance hall, you come like say, you know, then I dance, you know, you can't enjoy yourself, you know, my father. You understand mm -hmm. what I say? So, yeah, man. So that mm -hmm. cartel, that's why I tell us a cartel is a big impact on music too. Is that what I say? Because I am uplift dance all one we, way. We cannot, we cannot question that. You are totally right about that. Yeah, my father. So, 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 is, so there, so there's some music technically actually born out of reggae music, is it? Yeah, man. Yeah, my father. But we just advance it and make it. You understand? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a hmm. it's an advance to reggae music. Got you, got you. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the sound system as well, too, because you know back in the days, sound system has played a really major part in dancehall, also reggae, in Jamaica and the rest of the world. You had big sound system like Stone Love, Bass Odyssey, and I mean a whole heap of sound system coming out of Jamaica and stuff like that in the rest of the world. What would you say the way song system is currently today, in 2024, compare back in the 1990s or back in the 1980s? I don't know how old you are, right? But I mean, compare back in the 80s or compare back in the 90s and stuff like that. Maybe perhaps you were not around, but I'm sure probably you look at a lot of videotape and you look, you listen to a lot of record and um, you know the vibes, what it used to be like. What it used to be like compared to now? There's no comparison, to be honest. Because 
Because nowadays, you don't even have a good sound system, my father. I, wow. I'm, to tell you the truth, they don't really need, a, like, a big stone love. One time, you know, man, when we got a dance, and we used to bass of this year, stone love, and them sound they are coming, you know, man. You know, say a big dance, that's it, my father. But yeah. no, you know, man, no, my man then just string up two little bags somewhere, brother. But one little pool, so. And then, <laughs> how we ask him, my father? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm listening, it's quite interesting. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> yeah, my well, father, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is quite, this is quite interesting what you're saying, because, you know, I remember back in the days when you talk about song system. <laughs> And stuff like that. I mean, especially, let's say you got like a community center, like a, a football, an open place or something like that. And you have some song system come and string up there. Sometimes you have two song system come and string up there. You have the big blue top holding and everything. And, you know, they have a nice little, well, I mean, in Jamaica, you guys call it jerk. But we call it barbecue as well. Too. You know, you have the barbecue or the jerk thing going on. You have the lady of her ice cooler. She's selling her drinks. And, um... You know, everybody just, you know, everybody within the community just doing their thing and everybody just all in the vibes and just having a really good time. And as a little youth, sometimes, you know, you pass it wrong and stuff like that. Or you go by the DJ boot. And, you know, I mean, the selector at that time would just pull you in and just give you the mic, just give you the mic, just to free up yourself and you feel like a boss, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Two, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that's, yeah, one, that's one of the things I would say I really miss over the years about sound system. Because when I listen to sound system before, and when we talk about Clash and stuff like that, do we really have Clash DJs today? Zero. I don't, I don't really believe we have Clash DJs today. I mean, back in the days when I listened to Clash DJs and stuff like that, I mean, guys will get like real over the top, yes. But one thing, at the end of it, when they finish the party, they are friends. They don't they don't get personal with each other. But when yeah. guys go clash with each other them days right now, I mean it becomes so personal. Sometimes you have yeah. to ask yourself a question like, man, if this is the culture that I really once knew, is this is the culture that I really this is the environment that I really raise up. This is this is the, the thing that I really I love at one point in time in my life. You know what I'm saying? So how song system, how effective song system really had an Im have impact on an artist's career? Well, well, it's not, well, you can't really say it has no really impact, you know, because... No, I'm, I'm, I'm it, asking, what, what sort of impact it really have on an artist's career? Sound system. Well, so, let me tell you now. Sound system have a big, big impact because right now if me, if I go so boom and release a song, I have to go to party to promote them, you know. You understand? Mm. I make it, I make dance all hear it, meaning the people them were in the facility of keeping party. I saw your thing I go get. I go, I get bigger and bigger, you know. Because if you go to a party there and you play your song for a song. Only everybody were there, so I go hear it. And you go to the next party there, everybody there, so I go hear it. So it's a big promotion strategy that, right? So I understand. Mm. Yeah, yeah, my father. But, uh, but I life, you know, we talk about the intervention of technology. We got a YouTube. We got a, so many social media platform whereby today you can able to upload your music compared yeah. to 20, 25, 30 years ago and stuff like that whereby um, song system literally had a great impact on the development of an artist because in order for you to make it out there, if your tune don't play on a bass odyssey, if your song don't play on a stone love, as you know, you're not going to make it. You're not bust. Selectors really yeah. bust a lot of artists back then. Yeah. When you say the traditional way all things used to be, compared to the modern day today, what is the difference with the two? Yeah, because, because you have TikTok now, I have the YouTube, I have them little thing that you can just put a song for the same way. You understand? So it's more advanced now to me. You understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. 
basically, you don't really need a sound system now for, for your song busting up, my father. Mm -hmm. Because when you go up on TikTok and you start trend, mm -hmm. the selector, they go on and play it. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you think more advanced now, my father. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what you say? So, so definitely social media playing a really great part in the career of artists. Yeah, man. Even more than sound system, right? Mm, mm. That, that's, that, that's, quite, that's quite interesting because um, you, let, let's, let's look, for example, let's look at the studio, all right? Um, traditionally, you want to cut a record. You've got to go to the studio and without money, you know, you can't make it. Yeah, I, I heard so. time and time a lot of artists will say sometimes they just see the studio gate. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just see the studio gate. I can't get in the studio. Because yeah. especially if you don't have a name or if you don't have the money, basically that's it for you. You know what I'm so, saying? For you as an artist right now, especially with the modern day times, interested to see you say social media have been playing a great part in the lives and in the career of artists and stuff like that. Let's look at in terms of recordings and stuff like that. All right. Um, digital recording compared to um, the traditional way of recording and stuff like with those live instrument, etc. How will you say things have really gone over the years? Well, as I know, Things really get advanced, you know, my father. Cause you see, even that song the way I just played a while ago. Uh -huh. I write on that same phone in America when I talk to you. That can't you believe that? Uh -huh. you can't... <coughs> so, so, the studio thing, I mean, in terms of studio now, my father, mm -hmm. the only reason you might need a studio now, I feel like get a, a, a big link. You know what I say? So you mm. think them can so you think can go faster and far. You mm. understand what I say? But recording get so prevalent right now. You can like lock up in a mouse and go up on my phone and record. You don't really have to go on a studio and send it out just like that. You know what I say? Wow. Yeah man my father. So uh, everything I've, just easy. Uh, it's easier now, my father. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. All right. Yeah, man. Let's look in terms of a, as, a, as, a, as a young artist, how important balancing your time in terms of family, in terms of your music career, how important is that? Well, may I tell you, sir, I only part time music taking you know. up. And your family, them have to just understand, say, yo, and your goal that, and your jeans that, and your go feed. But, but, may I tell you, it really rough more, because sometimes people need you, and them will say, I'll do a girl's studio every day, and you can't give me some of your time. Baby, baby, even my baby mother right now, I can't even go look for her because I have to over here, so I come to my baby mother there, and my son in I understand. Mm -hmm. right. When time more, when time more, I see my son. I him have to come to me. You know. I have no time to go over there to him. I only can see him for like one, like one day or two, like one weekend. But during the week, I have to do a studio right during the week. I have to do a studio, my friend. And mm -hmm. I don't know, say, I have to do it the road. I promote the thing, them, see him way. See? So if I keep my son for all a week now, it, it only go slow me down. So, my baby mother have to just understand, say, boy, just the not to do the right thing, you know. So, feel better for my son. But, but, in order, but, in order, but in order to that, you must get, so. You, you mean, as you say, she, uh, you say she have to understand. I mean, it, I think it's, 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 when you say it's easier said than done, because, you know, let's be clear, man. Entertainment, a, a life of an entertainer is nothing easy. Because... Good. Um, as you rightly said, studio time, studio take up a lot of the time, you know what I'm saying? Number one, especially when you start 
traveling and start doing different things. It put it, it definitely put a dent in, in in terms of family life as as well too. All right, so let's 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 get away from that um, for a moment. So, <clears throat> in terms of balancing your time, and we talk about managing, um, you doing your own thing personally, whether in your living room or your bedroom or whatnot, doing your recording. But again, it takes money to put your record out there. Um, or only if you're one of them lucky people who go up on TikTok or Instagram and you get a buzz and somebody pick you up and, uh, and put you out there. But in order, is it a situation in order to make a name out there for yourself? You have to be with a prominent name record label or something. Or you can just go out there and just do your thing and make a name out there for yourself and start making money. Well, Father, as I say, if you're going to get lucky on TikTok, uh, one of them made it, you have to have the money in order to get out there. Because music costs a lot, too. You know how much you shoot one video? 100,000. Just the record, you look for 20,000. Just the record one song. And you know, talk about mix and master in it, you know? Mm-hmm. So when I had up all of that to come to and 50 grand just to, just mm -hmm. to record one song and get it professionally done. You mm -hmm. understand what I said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so music takes a lot of money, my father. Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah, man. Ma managing, managing an artist. When you're, because you know, I hear a lot of artists talk about going independent and they're doing their own thing and stuff like that. But, I mean, don't you think it's very important to have a manager? Well, me, me have a manager right now, you know, my father. And if you tell her the truth, I wish me could have managed myself. <laughs> you know what I say? Let me tell her why I say that. Because, you see, a man now go put the effort in a year thing like how you don't put it in it. 100%, man. You can say that again. 100%. You know what I say? Because more while you uh, you are pretty the thing when I live away, you yeah, say, if you didn't manage your thing, it would not go faster. Uh, you could not do this better. But having a manager now, they are going to do what they want to do because they are the manager and they are spend. So you have to just easy back and make them do the work. I understand. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> that, that, that is quite interesting. Yeah, my father. Man. When I like sing music, who do you sing music for? Do you sing music personally of life experience or do you sing music of situation that you actually see that's going on out there? Let me tell you now. We do all type of music, you know, my father. Sometimes, when we are talk to a girl and she give me advice or I mean, I like, we just put it in her music. Sometimes, when we have a friend and he move a certain way, we put it in her music. Sometimes, I see a man experience something out there, so. I see, I see something and I just put that in her music. You understand? So, music, right now, I talk to you is a song that. Wow. It's a song that when we done. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that, that, is, that is very powerful. Very powerful. Yeah, my father. Mm -hmm. And me write song fast and effectively. Like, my writing ethic of making music is so quick. I mean, I thought quality songs, you know, my father. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how many songs do you currently have out there at the moment? I have like six songs out there right now on my YouTube. So you currently have an EP at the moment? You can call it, say. Mm -hmm. And all these songs written and produced by Highlight? No. All of, uh, me write all of my songs, then, but to produce it, I'm a, I'm a manage, my manager, I'm also a producer too, you know. I understand. If me am Dovidan, big up yourself anyway. Then I will Dovidan. You see what mm. I say? Mm -hmm. Dovidan music. You can go check him out on YouTube, on Instagram, and TikTok. 
do for that music. You understand? Mm-hmm, Ma mm-hmm. so sell close to the in look fashion. So you mm-hmm. don't know the thing go. I want thing. And that's when we get me drip them. So big up yourself, do for that and the in look oh, fashion. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, my father. Right. So apart from music, what I life actually do from Monday to Monday or Sunday to Sunday? I tell you the truth. I work at a school right now, you know, as a security guard, you know, as an independent security guard. You understand? Because you know music now generates income right now. So you have to just go and do something for your everyday liberty and your expensive then. You understand? Absolutely. Yeah, my father. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I mean, all right. We all know nothing is really happening in terms of selling record. But for example, like doing gigs and stuff like that, what, what, what is it like out there in Jamaica for you as an artist? Well, well <laughs> you do you feel my father? Let me tell you, you see artists when they're independent go through the roughest life in you know, father. And that's why you see one time we get the break, some of the man then get the break, then so hype. Because mm. you, see the, you see the roughness of music you can go through my father. When you really make it, mm. boy, you don't even want to see people. We tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Too like, too rough. Music mm. are nice, you know, my father. Growing mm-hmm. up as an artist, where I try to get out there, you know. Mm-hmm. It's rough, mm-hmm. man, I tell you. Rough. Is it a situation you got too many artists coming through the rank? Um, is it kind of stagnate the market or something like that? Because it's like you got so many young talents, so many, so many artists. Every other week, there's that you see a new artist come, uh, a new artist rise. Is it a situation of such? Um, maybe, perhaps, um, it's a possibility. Maybe the the, the, the uh, um, you need to like slow, slow. I'm not too sure if this is the right word I'm actually using, whether to slow slow things down or whatever it is. Because, I mean, everybody have a, have a bread. Every man have a talent. And if you have a talent, you can't stagnate your talent. you got to put yourself out there. But what I'm trying to say to you, for a, for a small island to have so many artists coming out and stuff like that, is it a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> well, tell you the truth, my father. <laughs> Moon says it's a bad thing because at the end of the day, uh-huh. everybody, everybody had tried to be a man. Exactly. Exactly. You Absolutely. understand? Exactly. But, but definitely kind of create a little stag, stagnant thing about it. For most of the artists, them, it's like a rat race. Absolutely. So, so you, you, have to, you, have to, you have to come different now in order to really get the boy there. You understand? Ah, I see. I see. You have to Every- stand out from all of them. That would, that's exactly what I'm about to say because everybody sing dancehall, everybody sing reggae music. How, how more productive can you be? What, what sort of difference can you bring to the table that artist John Doe or Jane Doe is bringing? Creativity, guys. Let me tell you. You see, you see me you now? He's a man. Me not limit myself. Me do all type of music. Love that, man. That's me good. Have, That's good. Me have Afrobeat songs. Me have love songs. All gospel me I write when I time, father. Reggae. <laughs> That's good. So, one, if, if, if me not make it in that genre, yeah, me I try that next genre. Day. And if me not make it this so, me gone over this so. So, one we or another, me have to make it. I understand. You're quite multi-talented. Multi-talented, yeah, my father. Awesome, that is beautiful. All right, all right. You know, I, I think we're gonna get into a song from you. Get into your song um, coming up shortly. But um, <clears throat> how do you see yourself in terms within the next year or so as a heartiest? Be now there. Well, I see myself a mash up a tour the world. Don't you know, mean kind of fourteen parish, you know. Until we build enough audience overseas so we can fly out of the place and make some big money. Is there a message, my father? Mm. Yeah. In, in Freddie's say to turn to the whole four in parish of Jamaica. 
where are some of the places in Jamaica have you went and performed? I don't know, so if you tell you the truth, only in a Kingston we perform though. Because at the end of the day, the thing now push as fast as home me want to push and hard as oh me want it to push. You understand? It all come down back to being a own manager, being an independent artist. You understand? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, never I not mean, really done a lot of stage show, but I don't I don't quite a few in Kingston. I understand. So in terms of the experience, you don't really have that um to the, you haven't really like when to perform to the highest level, like say for example a like like a big event, like a sting or one of these places. No, I never really get one of them big performance. All right, no, no, no big deal. Let's let's get into a song from you right now. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, people, this is the man I like out of Kingston, Jamaica. Hey, 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 Definitely time is the master, it's all about time. Hey! I know this is Dogs Around, so let us King from Jamaica, you know what I mean? I'm going to say you are in the vibe with King Rock on HD. Big man with a skill shot. King Rock has stepped out in push to the man. Now I'm going to stop because he's a female. He's a big man. This is where Jamaica live and direct from Kingston, Jamaica. And I am listening to you, PC Radio, the song that binds us together with King Rock on BB Man. Hey, hey! Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up! Turn it up! Turn up! Turn up! Everybody put the live right now, live on Facebook and TikTok. All those of you streaming live on the World Wide Web at www.unitedvision connect.org slash radio. King Rocco AG alongside dance all reggae artists of the Kingston, Jamaica. I like. <laughs> Yeah, that's a reggae artist. I like all the kicks to Jamaica people. Check him out. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out. Check him out. I like. Yeah, people are telling talented artists out of Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. Up top, up top, up top. Julio. The master. Y'all better believe that shit. Time is the master. Everything time always happens within time. You know what I'm saying? And nothing happened that, before in time. That is it, yeah. my father. Yeah. yeah, 100, 100. Tell us about that well, song. What was the best behind the song, Maji? Well, <laughs> you don't know. Say, <laughs> time of the master, you know, my father. You know that already, and the world know that. You see what I say? 
I have to just be patient, put it in the work. But as I hear me say in the song, say, time I move, I have to move with the time. Lace up my boat for the food I find. You see what I say? Yeah, my mm. father, so you can't sit down and wait for nothing. You have to just work and wait for time. You see what I say, my father? As, wow. as long as you, yeah, my father. As long as you are something must happen. So, if you are a youth, some more they will sit down and now nah, do nothing. Get up and go get what I, what, what I feel. You see what I say? 100, my G. 100%. 100%. See, yes, before yes, we wrap up this interview shortly uh, and stuff like that, I like. Um, yeah. I mean, you're a young artist. You 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 know you know you know you know in the game and stuff like that. But one of the things that is very important, we talk about copyright and stuff like that. Can, can you touch on that? Copyright to your material. Yeah, man. The thing them copyright, man. You know, J cap on them thing there. It's no, no, important, no, I'm asking, you know. No, I don't ask you what your your stuff copyright. We're talking about yeah. copyrighted co copyrighting your content because. You know, there's a lot of artists out there, I mean, decide to go independent, put the music out there and stuff like that, and boop, all of a sudden, somebody gone out there and captured the material and stuff like that, and you have to sit up on the wayside and basically see a man perform your song, make millions out of your song, and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going, man. <laughs> That's why it's that's why it's important to copyright the music. You see what I say? It's very, very important. So even before you put out a song, you must copyright it. Because they don't want that reach you as an artist. That way you just say a while ago. Yeah. Mm. You don't want that to reach you, so you have a copyright the music. You see what I mm -hmm. say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mm -hmm. father. Very it's important. very important. Yeah. Yeah. What what what, what would you say to any young artist that's coming up in the game right now? I mean, not of the knowledge you're ins and out of this business and trying to make it out there and stuff like that. What's that encouragement you would tell you would give them? All of the young artists, them out there, man, we are trying like myself. Man. Just believe in yourself, man, and stay consistent. Is what I say? Put in the work. Cause time are the master. Is what I say, my father. Time, yeah, the song they are go out soon, you know. So, all of the young artists them can go listen to it and learn something from it. You understand? Time, work, be patient, and believe in yourself, youth. You know what I say? Because you have to believe in yourself before nobody believe in you. You know what I say, my father? Positive words, man. Positive yes. words, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I like, there's anybody out there you would like to big up? You would like to shout out? I said, big up for that stretch, you know, man. The man who put me yeah. onto the interview, yeah. What the man there, my general. Yeah, him see him when I go produce a song here, yeah, right now where you're here on the radio. The yeah. time of the master. So big up stretch, anywhere you're there, my father, no respect. And big up yourself to you know, King Yaka, you know, you think go big up <laughs> Dubidan. Yeah, big up 100%. Yeah, man, the... thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, you know, as I said, I'm saying, time of the master, because the first time we linked, I think, was in November or October. But it never, yeah. it, it never worked out. But you know what? You see that? You see that? This is the time. Time of the master. This is the time. Time. <laughs> the master. <laughs> All right. We link up in October, but it, it never worked out. You know what I mean? For, for whatever worked. reason, I don't know. Whatever For whatever reason. And a couple of days ago, myself and Stretch was talking and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I said, boy, you know, there's an artist, you know, I'm going to link up with, you know. But I, I just didn't remember because, you know what I mean, switch numbers and stuff like that. And then, boy, they say to me, yo, I want to, I like, I said, yo, I like, he said, yeah, man. He said, yo, the same man down by the school there. I said, yo, far with the youth, man. <laughs> so, so definitely when something ordained to be is going to be. So when, as the song say, time of the master. So the real time thing right now. Yo, so if, yo, I like we can't let you go without you giving us a little something. Give us a little sample. What do you mean? You want you want a different a thing? Acapella, man. Acapella. Yeah, man. 
Time and master. How old is the thing we have still in our father? Time. Time of the master. Until me die, me go prosper. I die on me heart, so. And then I give me basket to carry water. But the time of the most. Time I move, I feel move with the time. Lay some of my boot, cause the food I feel fine. Can't do it. But nobody can do it. I'm telling my father, man. It's the time one has got. <laughs> Yo, I like, let, let me say something, my G. If anybody all they want to get in contact with you, all they can get in contact with you. Yeah, man, you know, you can link me on Instagram, you can DM me, man, at I like underscore music. H I G H L I T E underscore music. Yeah, man, right, that's my father. I'm interested to know about this name, I like, before we go. What, what what is the genesis behind this name I Light? Well, you know what's my father? <laughs> I'm a friend give me that name there way back when I just started the music because I didn't have confidence first. I'm me and me and him did the I'm meds and him I say, you know what? Somebody named confidence already. I mean I'm a said to him, say, bro, I me I got highlight it, man. It's a very second. I never knew nobody named confidence at the time. And he looked right. at me and said, I like, I like. You know what said any the but I'm from that. We just say yo, I like. That's what I say. Yeah, <laughs> well, I like definitely, man. It's been a pleasure working with you tonight. I want to definitely encourage you to say, keep on pushing, man. As they say, not even the sky is the limit. You know what I'm saying? As they say, time of the master. When the time is right, everything I got light, everything I got shine. You see what I say? So big up with yourself, I like. Enough love and respect, my G. Let's get into no this right now. Yeah. No respect. No respect. No, no, no All respect. All right. Let's yeah, get it. Right. Let me get into this right now. Yeah, people, you've been listening to the man, I like, out of Kingston, Jamaica. There's our reggae audience. Turn up your radio right now. Turn up your radio now. Turn up. Do it, please, brother. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. This is courage. Friday night vibes. Hey. Friday night vibes. 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 Yeah, man. 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 Y